Hello, friends. What's up, you cracking humans? You absolute legends. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I've been riding the Wolf Mountain Trail here in Curtin Alice State Park. I did about uh, four or five miles already. I just got to this place called Tobacco Springs, you can see behind me. It's a little Spring Fred Creek. I'm sorry, Tobacco Creek. I'm just around the corner from Jones Spring. Um, it's quite a little ordeal to get down here. Uh, took the Wolf Mountain Trail. Wasn't that big. It's not that bad of a, a trail. It's not even a single track. It's an old Jeep road. Oops, sorry about that. Look, looky, looky. Clear pool there. Anyways, got my Joma gloves on. Pretty tight. Joma. Joma Hydro Pack. Also pretty tight. Ah, spring water. Clean up these rocks. You see the shelf here. I'm today with a hardtail. Um, I just got a basic rock shocks on there. It's coil, it's not even an air spring, so I didn't want to jump down this ledge. So this is actually the look at over here. These other ledges. So I think for today, guys. This is where I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna try to get some more shots on the way home. But until then. And this creek goes down there and there's a little valley and that goes right to the Perdinalis River. As you'll notice, there's not a lot of leaves on the trees. Well, we're still in the middle of February and this is winter time. When you come here in springtime, there's much more foliage. Oh. What you do see is cedars and stuff like that. So, this is my lovely bike. I should have just threw it down like that. Okay, guys, this is what I'm riding here today. It's a Trek 4500. I believe it's a 2006 basically bone stock. The only real upgrade has been these Valletta rims. And I bought this off Craigslist and there's an Olivo that should be a more of an upgraded derailleur and we'll do that in the future. As you can see this is a pretty bone stock mountain bike. I still got the V-brakes I ordered some uh, Clark's uh, mechanical brake, I mean uh, hydraulic brakes, and they should be coming here from Chain Reaction Cycles. And uh, yeah, this is it. Basically a bone stock uh, hardtail. Not really much to look at. Okay, well a little bit about me. Basically, uh, I need to lose some weight. I used to be a hardcore, not a hardcore, but I used to go cross country and uh, mountain biking quite often back in Florida. I live here in Texas now, so I decided to get back into the sport. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't really feel like work to me. And so I got that trick that I just showed you guys, and I'm gonna continue to keep working on that particular bike and eventually upgrade to a nice full suspension, maybe a fat bike too. But this uh, trek, uh, what I got off Craigslist is going to be bas basically my uh, my workhorse until I can get some other stuff and lose weight and get the conditioning. Um, you know, I'm a flatlander I'm from South Florida. We don't really have a lot of hills, so having to ride the hills and stuff was a huge adjustment. So now that I'm here in Central Texas, more specifically Austin, Texas, I'm going to do a lot more cross-country riding. And, uh, so if you pay attention to my channel, I do a lot of other reviews of soccer stuff and music videos, but I'm going to start posting a lot more mountain bike videos, and it's going to sort of be the average man uh, 
average fat 38 year old man, oh shit, 39 year old man losing weight and uh, just having a good time and uh, starting to get back into mountain bike trails. Uh, I kind of saw a couple of YouTubes out there, um, more specifically uh, Seth's Bike Hacks and Single Track Sampler and uh, BKXE, and it sort of, sort of inspired me to get back on the trails. Back in Florida, I used to ride Oledo State Park um, freaking 10 years ago now, almost every day. So I was really into it. Completely falling off the wagon. Got a kid, got a bunch of other stuff going on. So, um, hey man, I'm here. So just keep following my channel, and uh, you're going to start seeing me upgrade my bike. Later, buds.